It seems too good to be true that a nutritious and versatile plant could grow in this. Not just grow, but thrive in poor quality, dry soil, often without fertilizer or much water. But the cowpea does just that and it leaves the soil in better shape than it found it. Plant geneticists and breeders around the world are excited by cowpeas potential, especially as agriculture faces increasing threats from climate change. I think it's a privilege and it's, it's exciting to, to work on a crop that, uh, that is so important for food security in the world. Okay, so this is a crop that provides the main source of protein to millions of people in, in, in Sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, and, and, and also cash income to smallholder farmers in those regions. So that is a very important crop. So that's first. But I think it has also the potential to be a great crop for many other parts of the world because of uh, cowpea um, is very uh, well adapted naturally to, to drought and heat and also poor soils. Cowpeas, also called black-eyed peas, southern peas, and crowder peas, are nutritious legumes known for their protein-rich seeds. The entire plant is also edible and often harvested for livestock forage, hence the name cowpea. Cowpea was first domesticated in sub-Saharan Africa over 4,500 years ago. Its cultivation then spread to other regions of Africa, Asia, Europe, and eventually the Americas. It's now grown on every continent except Antarctica. Here in the United States, we mostly know it as black eyed pea, right? Because that's the typical pattern, seed pattern that uh, we consume here. But cowpea, as you can see here, is a very diverse crop. Cowpeas come in different shapes, sizes, and structures. The tall, upright types are valued for their seed production, while the spreading types are used more as cover crops. Their seeds also come in a variety of colors, textures, and patterns, from wrinkled to smooth, speckled to solid, colorful and plain, and with seemingly endless eye colors and patterns. Nigeria is now the world's top cowpea producer and is also home to the world's largest collection of cowpea samples. Over 15,000 wild and cultivated samples are kept at the gene bank of the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture. Gene banks like this one at the National Laboratory for Genetic Resources Preservation in Fort Collins, Colorado, make it possible to preserve and study a wealth of diverse plant traits. Experts like Dr. Maria Munoz are working to better understand the traits that allow cowpeas to escape drought and improve soil, as well as manage stress, pests, and disease. Cowpea has a great potential as a climate resilient legume uh, in, in many parts of the, of the U.S., also here in Colorado. And there is great interest by um, stakeholders here in Colorado to conduct research on, on cowpea and to improve, um, to develop varieties that are better suited for this, uh, for this environment. Several key genetic traits allow cowpeas to tolerate drought. Some varieties flower early or remain green until better conditions arrive. Others reduce the sensitivity of leaf gas exchange or delayed leaf deterioration. They also have deep root systems which allow for better access to groundwater. This is a, a crop that can come, you know, that is really sustainable. Probably maybe people go to the supermarket and decide to buy, you know, cowpeas instead of other, you know, crops that use much more water and many more resources. So I think that's a lot of work to do also in that part, not only into the genetics and to improving and to bring the crop to, to the crop system and exposing the, you know, the, the, the research and the, and the farmers to the, to the crop, but also in the marketing, marketing side. For example, some, some cowpeas are, um, are uh, completely black, right? So there could be a market for them competing with just black beans. The small but mighty cow pea is gaining traction as knowledge and awareness of its benefits and versatility continues to grow, and especially as the climate heats up. Got drought, heat, poor soil? Bring it on. That's where cow peas do best. <laughs> <laughs>